how to bust a table, when to bust a table, and how to talk to guests. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to be the best bus boy or bus girl in the world. Because we have all started as bus boys or bus girls to become a waiters, or most of us. It's very important because if the bus boy or the bus girl doesn't do their job, our job is getting much harder and uh, the service is not going to be the top service that we want to provide. We have to work as a team, um, we have to work together so we can make more money and uh, we can have better lives. So, the bus boy step by step tutorial coming up. Hey guys, welcome to the Waiters Academy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be active in the Waiters community. Answer questions with your fellow waiters or ask questions and somebody will answer, including me. Let's stay together, let's learn together, let's have a better life together. Now today, step-by-step -step tutorial of how to be a good bus boy. The first and most important thing guys, when you go to the job tomorrow, you have a shift meeting and the restaurant manager will tell you, today you work with this guy, he's your head waiter. Now, as a new bus boy, or just a couple of weeks or months started on the job, it's always good to go to the head waiter and tell him, hey, listen, what do you expect from me today? How you want to do the job? If you have not worked with a guy, uh, and every waiter has a different system, okay? The system in the restaurant, of course, it's one. But every waiter likes to work in his own system, so it's always good that you know, and if you don't know, you ask uh, what you expect from me today. Uh, for example, when I work with a bus boy or a back uh, waiter, I allow them to do as much a waiting job as possible, as long as they don't forget that their main job what it is, so they can learn, they can get personal with the guests and they can make some extra tip for themselves. Uh, but not everybody is like that. Not everybody uh, likes when the busboy or the back waiter uh, go talk to the guests, do some extra chores like uh, pouring wine in the glasses uh, or pouring water in the glasses and things like that. But forget it. You talk to the head waiter, ask him what he expects for you today and just try to do it as good as you can. Now, your main task is to bust tables. Bust tables, sounds stupid, to maintain tables clean. No dirty dishes, no empty glasses, no extra, no extra silverware on the table. That's your job. Of course, if the restaurant has a system that uh, the bus boy has to bring the uh, butter and the bread automatically, now that's your first job. But first and most important, don't forget guys, you are also a waiter in a restaurant and when the guests come to the table you also have to greet them with a smile with a positive energy let them feel that they are welcome in the restaurant and that's going to help you that's going to help your head waiter um, do a better service and of course make more money so the first thing the very first thing welcome the guest with a smile with a positive attitude. Then, bring automatically bread and butter, if that's the system. If the system tells you that you have to bring also a jar of water, bring a jar of water, and don't just put it on the table, make sure you pour some in the glasses. Another very important thing, every time, guys, you come, you approach a table, you approach a guest, you should say something nice. So just come with the bread and butter, drop the butter on the, on the table and just walk away. It's rude and it doesn't help you because it's always good to be friendly with the guests and they feel that they're welcome. It's always good for you because 
then the guests will respond the same way and you can make tip for yourself or you can help your waiter make bigger tip and of course share bigger tip with you so when you bring the butter and the bread to the table you always say ladies and gentlemen some bread and butter from the restaurant that's it very simple or you bring the water and you ask them ladies and gentlemen would you like me to pour some water for your glass in your glasses just simple you don't need to talk too much we don't have time to talk too much you don't have time to talk too much because i want you to go to the next table and bus it or prepare it for the next case so very simple steps you bring the bread and butter you put it on the table and you tell them with a smile ladies and gentlemen some bread and butter for you water the same thing ladies and gentlemen some water would you like me to pour some in the glasses yes or no Fear. bring it pour it you leave it. During the evening, your job is going to be to maintain the tables clean. For example, if this is one table in the restaurant and um, the guy has ordered a soup and the lady had ordered a salad. The job of the waiter is to prepare the, the silverware. If he has a soup and a main course, on the table we have to leave only the soup, the main course knife and the main course fork. This has to be taken away. Now the system is that the bus boy prepare the, the, the silverware for the table, make sure you prepare that. You take this away and the gentleman or the lady has exactly what she needs soup spoon for the soup for the first course and then a main course fork and knife now you will be in contact with the guest all the time you come to the table you bring bread, you come to the table, you bring water, or you have to pick up plates. Those guests, they don't differentiate between you or the main uh, waiter or the, somebody else. They see a waiter, they see a wait staff in a restaurant, they want to ask questions or they have requests. Do not ignore them. You are part of the team and you should be taking care of the guests if they want to ask you something or if they want to order something. Do not ignore the guests. It's not like, okay, these are, these are not my guests, man. I'm just bringing water or passing tables. The waiter should take care of this. Nah, it's not like that, guys. You are part of the team. If the guest wants to ask you something or have requests, you should stop and take a second, listen to their request. Now, if you're not able to fulfill their request, if they order some special sauce for the steak or they forgot something of course you will listen to what i say and you tell them i will i will tell my hand waiter and then you go to the server to the waiter and you tell him what they said if you don't understand just tell them excuse me just give me a second i will send my waiter there here on the table and you will be able to order whatever you want to order now if you are able to fulfill the request for example, they just want a little bit more bread or they want the wine list, for example. They decided that they're going to order some wine, a glass of wine or anything like that. And you can bring the wine list to the table. You bring the wine list to the table and you tell your, main, it was your waiter, hey, I just dropped the wine list to the table five. That's it. So he knows that this table will like to order some wine and he can take care of what, what, you know, for this request. So if a guest want to ask you something, Stop by with a smile. Yes, what can I do for you? Ready. If you cannot do it, you will tell them that you will tell the waiter and he will do it. And that's it. Now, we come to the main part of the bus boy or bus girl job. Bussing tables, removing those plates from the table. Now guys, it's very important to learn the etiquette of the guests. But you should know that not every guest follows this etiquette. The guests are not required to follow the etiquette. For example, 
this guy is finished with his foot. Usually, when the guests are finished, they will put the knife and the gun and the fork just like that in the plate. That should tell you that the guest is ready. Now, if you have a table of two, three, four and more, you have to wait till the last person on the table is ready so you can pick up this course. If it's an appetizer, it's an appetizer. You have to wait for everybody on the table to finish and then pick up the tables. So if this guy is already done and he put the, for the fork and the a knife like that and the lady is still eating, you know, you are waiting. Now, let's say that the lady is not eating no more, but the spoon stays like that. Everybody else is finished and their silverware is just put so they show you that it's done with their meal. What you do? You go to the lady and you ask very politely, excuse me ma'am, are you also true with your meal? Now, you can ask, are you finished or something like that? I don't recommend it. I recommend that you guys are talking very politely, very nice and very properly to the guests. So when you say, are you finished? Yeah, some joker will say, yes, I'm finished. I'm dying tomorrow, so I'm really finished. But if you are saying, excuse me, madam, are you true with your meal? Yes, I am true. Okay, then you can start busting the table. Of course, you start with the ladies. Uh, you can check my video about techniques of busting plates, how to carry plates, how to take the plates from the table, how to arrange the plates in your hand so you can take all the plates together. You can check uh, in the cards up there that um, the video about uh, busting plates from the table. I'm not going to cover this right now. I just want you to show, I want to show you how to talk to the guests and when to talk and uh, how to uh, make sure that everything is done properly. So, the lady says, yes, I'm done. You don't have to ask nobody else. You can just take it and go. But there's another thing, guys. Not everybody follows the etiquette. You may see that the guest is just, just put the fork and the knife on the plate, but there is still some food. It's very possible that the guests just don't think about it right now. They like to put the fork and the knife like that, but they will still have some bites. So do not ever take automatically plate that you see that the fork and the knife are staying like that. Because those guests are there to enjoy themselves. They don't think about the etiquette all the time. And sometimes by accident, they will put the fork and the knife like that but they still think that they have some more food and they will have some bites later. So if you're not sure if everybody else is done and everybody is putting the knife and the fork or the knife and the uh, spoon on the, on the plate like that, and this guy still has some food in it, you will do the same thing. You will go to the guest and you will ask, are you also true with your food, with your meal? Now, if he says, oh yeah, yes, I'm true, I'm true, I'm finished, okay, then very well, you go to the ladies, you pick up the plates, you pick up everything else, and you leave. But imagine that he's just talking with uh, his wife or his friends, and uh, unconsciously just put the knife and the fork like that, and you go over there and you take the plate. Uh, a problem. The guy might get pissed off and he will have the right to get pissed off. You already touched the plate inappropriately and uh, he will say, you know what, I cannot eat no more that. It's going to be a problem. So if there is a meat, there is a food on the plate, doesn't matter that the knife and the fork are staying this way, make sure you ask the guest if he's true with the meal. There is another thing, guys. Guys, so we serve the plates appropriately. Your finger stays on the rim, no fingerprints, no touching the foot and things like that. When you bust the table, 
you try to apply the same technique. You go from the right side, you ask the guests if they're finished. If the plate is empty and the silverware stays like that, you don't have to ask. If everybody's done, all the plates are empty, everybody put the silverware just like that, that means that they're finished. You don't have to ask them. But if there's a food, like I said, you ask them. So when you go and you have to pick up the plate, you don't go like that. No. You do the same thing like we do when we serve the food. We don't want the guests to see us touching the plate inappropriately because they will think that you have done the same thing when you brought the food on the table or you carry the plate. So you do the same thing like always. You just use the plate on the rim, your finger, and just take it, go to the other, and you go from the other side. So you already know that we are serving in America from the left and busing from the right side. In Europe, is everything done is from the right side. But anyway, busing plates is from the right side of the guests. You ask the guests, are they finished? Are they true? They're true. You take the plate and you back up. And then you go to the next guest and you do the same thing. Very nice, very gentle. Now, some plates are very tricky. And if the silverware stays like that, it's always good if you do just like that and your finger on the silverware. You don't want to pick up a plate and because you're already carrying a couple of other plates in your hand and it's very tricky, you go this way and you pick it up and then that's what happens. And if this silverware fell in the, in the scoop, in the lap of the, of the lady with the, some nice dress, then it's going to be a problem. So make sure if the silverware stays like that, you can just do so. Put your finger on the silverware and take it away. Now, when you bust the first course, is soup or a salad or anything that they eat with the first meal, with the first course. Make sure you take also the extra the best take for this course. If they have a soup, the soup spoon is going to be on the table. You have to take it. If it's not on the plate, of course. If it's on the table, you take it. If the waiter hasn't done their job and the appetizer the silverware still is on the table, you take it. For the main course, the guests need only the main course silverware, and that's what should be left on the table. Now, make sure you don't do things like that. You know, the silverware stays like that, the guest stays here, the other guest stays here, and you just go between them and take the spoon like that. It's very, very rude, it's against any system, any etiquette in the restaurant. If you need to take something, make sure you do it right. You go from this side, you don't interrupt the guests. You just go very nice, very quiet, very easy. Take the spoon, put it on the plate, and walk away. In your restaurant, if you have butter plates and butter messer, uh, butter knife, when you collect the appetizer plates, you should come back you should ask the guests if they would like to have some bread and butter with the main course. 99% of the guests don't want butter, no, they don't want no more bread. They have already some piece of bread with butter. They already finished with the appetizers and the soup and they don't want no more. So you will take the butter plates and the butter mess, uh, knife and the bread basket away so the table is nice and clean. Once you have collected the plates, the guests are sitting on the table and they're waiting for the main course. You have picked up the bread basket, they don't want no more bread. They have a glass of white wine or a glass of uh, water or cocoa or whatever. 
and they are waiting. Now you have the time. In a fine establishment, that's a must, but you can do it yourself, of course, discuss it first with your waiter or with your managers and uh, make sure that uh, they agree with that. When the guests had had some appetizer or some bread and butter on, uh, on the table already, here it's going to be some crumbs, it's going to be some particles from the, from the first dish, maybe some uh, piece of uh, lettuce from the salad or things like that. You can use this time between appetizer and main course to brush the table from the crumbs. Now, it's a very pleasant thing because the guests don't like to see a, a dirty table in front of them. They know that they have done it. You, many times you will see the guests do it themselves. It's always nice when you do it for the guests. Uh, if there is no system, you take a small butter plate, you take a napkin and you just brush the crumbs from the table. And you do it for every guest, of course you don't do it for one. Uh, or you do it for the guests that you see that there is some crumbs and some particles on the table. Um, it's a very polite thing to do, the guests appreciate that. Uh, they see that you are trying to keep the table really clean and pleasant and they will give you a better tip for sure uh, and then the evening. So that's another thing to remember. Then, guys, during the evening, the guests are drinking, for example, a Coca-Cola or they had aperitifs. Now, if a guest is having, for example, aperitif gin and tonic, and then you see that he is almost done or he's done, the glass stays on the table, they order a glass of wine or a bottle of wine. This glass has to be removed. If the waiter haven't done it, you will do it. You go, you ask the guest if he's done with the drink. Yes, I'm done with the drink. You take the glass and you move it. Everything that they don't use, you have to remove from the table. Make sure you don't remove an empty white or red wine glass from the table while the bottle is staying on the wine station and the table has a bottle of wine there. So in this case, instead of removing the glass, you should ask them if they would like a little bit more wine. Then just go to the wine station, bring their bottle, make sure you got the right bottle too. That's You should discuss with the waiter if he is not happy with this, and he's not allowed you to do that, you go and tell them, hey, listen, this guy has an empty glass. Of course, the waiters don't like that because they think that you're pointing them something that they don't do their job for, right? But it's always better the glass to, be, to receive his uh, glass of wine than the waiter to be happy. And it's a good thing because he should be doing a better job. No empty glasses of wine on the table while the bottle of wine is staying on the side station. So um, that's one thing. Then, the main course is served. Those guys are eating, they're finished with the main course. They put the silverware the way it should be or not. If you're not, you ask if they're through with the meal. Then you take the main course, you take all the silverware with the main course, if the bread was still on the table, if they said, no, nah, we're going to have some bread with the, with the main course, you take the bread now also away, you take everything away, including the condiments, you take the sauces, you take the salt and pepper away, the table should be left only with the glasses for the, whatever they drink, and if they have ordered a dessert, you or the waiter should prepare the dessert, dessert silverware on the table. Sounds very nice and very easy. I know it's not. Um, usually a bus boy or a bus girl works with two, sometimes three waiter stations. And uh, for example, like it's in America, uh, waiter has four tables and then you have three waiters 
Then you have 12 tables. You have to bust those tables. You have to keep them clean. You have to bring bread and butter to the tables. They bring water to the tables. It's, it's a lot of running. It's a hard work. But the more tables you maintain properly clean and bust, the more money we we'll make. Make sure that you make not only the guests happy, make sure that you make your waiters happy because at the end of the evening I am the one that takes from this money that we made and I give it to you. And for example, I have given to my bus boys always more money than anybody else. But I require from the bus boy really, really hard work. I want my tables to be clean right away and be set up right away because the more tables we have, the more guests we turn, the more money we make. I don't want to stay around and do nothing when I'm at work. I'm, anyway, I'm wasting my time. And if I stay here, I'd rather run and rather make money then just stay around and you know what I mean. So that's how it is. Let's put everything together, guys. You greet the guests with a smile and positive attitudes. Make them feel welcome. Every time you approach a table to bring bread or something, water, and doesn't matter what, you tell them, ladies and gentlemen, or ladies, or just gentlemen, some bread and butter for you. Ladies, some water for you. Would you like me to pour your glass? If you bring some, for example, he dropped his uh, fork on the floor. You bring me new fork, make sure you bring it with a teller and a napkin, not just with your hand. And you put it, there you go, sir, another fork for you. There is one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. Now, those guests don't always use the proper silverware. And it's important. And it's very good. I just really appreciate that. Now, I am having a salad. This is my first course. And I'm supposed to use the small knife and the small fork for my salad. But because I'm with some nice chick and I enjoy my evening, I don't pay attention what I'm using, and I took the big fork and the small knife. And I eat it like that. Now, when it's time for me to finish my meal, I see that I have used the right, the wrong fork and I put it here, but it's dirty. And then I put it like that because, you know, now I, I figured out that I used the wrong fork, I put the right fork in, and that's it. But you're the bus boy. You come to the table and you pick up the plates. When you pick up the plates, you see that this fork is already dirty. I use it for the salad or for whatever, for the butter or something like that. You don't leave it on the table for the main course. It's wrong. You tell them, I will take this for you and I'll bring you a new one, a clean one, or whatever you want, clean one. I'll bring you a clean one, period. Just make sure that you really bring a new clean fork back to the table so he doesn't stay and the main course is on the table and he doesn't have a fork and, hey, what's up, man? Where's my fork? You took my fork and you said you're going to bring it and you didn't bring nothing. We don't want that. Dirty silverware stays on the table never. You pick it up and you bring a new one. That's important thing of the bus boy or bus girl job. And I would say that's pretty much everything, guys. Now, after the main course, you can also come with a plate and a napkin and also clear the crumbs or whatever particles on the table in front of the guests so the table to stay clean. Then when the service is served, maybe there were some cafe, coffees, you can pick up the coffee cups as soon as the guest is done. You don't have to wait for all the guests to be done with their coffee cups and you don't leave the coffee cups on the table if 
the coffee cups is already em empty. Um, it's a hard work, but that's how we start. We work hard, we talk to the guests, we try to accommodate them, we try to get comfortable with serving the guests. And that's the only way you will grow. Your management and your head waiters, you'll see that you're doing a great job. And when you feel comfortable, when you feel ready to make the move, and when you go to the management and say, you know what, I work here so many months or a year, I am ready to wait tables. Not being a busboy no more, I want to be a waiter, I'm ready to wait tables, you're ready to make some more money and you know, grow. Those guys will give you the chance because you've done an amazing job, you're feeling comfortable talking to the guests and they will know that you have all, the, all it takes to be a good waiter. And while you're working as a busboy, make sure that you learn. Learn the food, learn the wines, learn the drinks. That's your life, guys. The better, the faster you learn, the faster you grow, and the more money you make, and the better life you have. Pretty much, that's all I would like to say. Like I said, about the technique of picking up plates and stacking plates and carrying as many plates as you can. I have the video, you can check it out. Um, more information is online, you can check it out too. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'll be happy to answer. And um, next video is coming Wednesday, every Wednesday. And also we're gonna start doing live chats so everybody who wants to have a live chat with me, a live conversation, you can ask any questions you want. Of course, I don't know everything, but I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. So we're gonna start doing live chat. I need just to figure out which day and what time is the best. So all those of you from the States and from India and from Australia, from everywhere have a chance to sit down and talk directly with me and have uh, uh, your questions answered. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next Wednesday. Take care. Ciao.